think this country needs change, and I'm sick of the way things have been going. Came down from Massachusetts to, to work as a volunteer here. I want to change for my children. I want to see an end to this war. I want the economy improved. Shall I go on? <laughs> I volunteer at, uh, in Pottsville, Pennsylvania. I volunteer at the uh, office there for Barack Obama. Tell me going door to door. Are you going door to door? Going door to door yeah. and signing up voters. Are you lining up your little friends? Yeah. <laughs> we support his language. We support a president who can speak the American language. He really knows his grammar. I like his integrity. I really be, uh, believe what he says. I really do, yes. And we need change. How about you? Yes. You're for Barack Obama? Yes. How about you? Are you for yes. Barack Obama? Uh, How's your neighborhood going? Good, very good. Yes. My neighborhood will vote extremely democratic in this election, I can assure you. I spent most of my creative life measuring, uh, measuring the distance between that American promise and American reality. And for many Americans who are today losing their jobs and their homes, who are seeing their retirement funds disappear, who have no health care, who have been abandoned in our inner cities, the distance between that promise and that reality has never been greater or more painful for people. And I believe that Senator Obama has taken the measure of that distance in his own life and in his work. And I think he understands in his heart the cost of that distance in blood and in suffering in the lives of everyday Americans. And I believe that as president, I think he would work to restore that promise to so many of our fellow citizens who have justifiably lost faith in its meaning. And I don't know about you, but I know that I want my house back, I want my America back, and I want my country back. Hands me, hands me.